<clears throat> the, the giveaway, you mean? Yes. Yes. Giveaway. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? Roll it, yes. Jacques. We're rolling, Ben. So if you're ready, Margaret, <clears throat> here it goes. Three, two, one. Coming up on Roundabout, it's time for our annual report card. That's right. How well did we predict what would happen in 2011? Were the automotive tarot cards accurate? Did palm reading come through for us? Should we have consulted the bones? Find out if we're worth our salt as psychics right after this. Roundabout is sponsored by Advance Auto Parts. Visit our website, roundaboutshow.com, to get up to $30 off your next purchase. And buy everyone's favorite online store, Amazon.com. From the Grand White City by the Great Lake. Wait, um. <laughs> from. from <laughs> who wrote this? From the Great. <laughs> From the Great White City by the Great Lake, I'm Colin Bird's Eye from Cars.com. <laughs> and very annoyed sounding. <laughs> from the Blue Bitch Villa on the island of St. John in the Virgin Islands, I'm Eric Tritko from IMAX Web and RumbleStrip.net. My name is Michelle and I work on the Auto by Tells. Free from a dead man's jacket, I'm Stephen J. Ewing from Autoblog. Keeping things on track and on time, I'm your <laughs> host, Craig Cole. What was that? Yeah. He said it was on track and on time. And I was he, laughing. And he yipped. Oh. <laughs> we nip we are on time. We're doing anyway. a week ahead. Yes. <laughs> 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 Let me, I'll no, I'm not. Ben, ben. I'm, All right, everyone. All right. Keeping things on track and on time, I'm your host, Craig Cole. And my feet hurt. <laughs> this is Roundabout. <laughs> Welcome to Roundabout, episode number 110, our weekly chat covering car culture, vehicle reviews, and some of the auto news you may have missed. I don't know about you guys, but we think we might have gotten Colin a bad night. He's a little bit crabby, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, we get to have a crank a week. Last week, we had Christian being cranky. <laughs> yes, that's true. No, there's not fresh seed in his feeder for the Birdman. I was going to say, did he wake up on the wrong side of the cage? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. They didn't just, change uh, his papers. <laughs> Christmas parties and whatever. It's just insanity this week. Yeah. I, I get invited so many places and I have to go to all these parties. It's awful. <laughs> People like me. Hobnob. Mm. <laughs> Aren't those a candy, Hobnobs? <laughs> anyway. Never. They're yeah. cookies. They're yeah. British. <laughs> This is our Roab Divination Special. We're checking to see if the predictions that we made last year for this very year that we are concluding were, in fact, accurate. You can think of it as time traveling. No, not waking up, you know, after being passed out, blackout drunk on somebody's bathroom floor. I know we what are, that's like. Do you? You've, you've time <laughs> no. traveled before, Stephen? Yeah. What day is it? I don't even know. So, all of us, we made a few predictions last year for an episode by the same name. And Ben, where are you going? You have me concerned here. I was hoping you'd just continue, but Stephen really sounds off mic still. Well, oh. we're going to mark this. What are you going to do? Minor <laughs> technical difficulties. I even leaned way in. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but... Like, Ben cool. sounds like Stephen does right now. Yeah. He had him muted yeah. again. Hold it. Is does it talk for Michelle? Talk for Michelle. Just that sound better? Michelle, Michelle... Michelle that does Shea? sound a bit better. Mishugana? Oh, that's better. That fixed it. All right, marked. All right. Back it up, Craig. What were you saying? Um, I don't remember. Something about blackout drunk, but we don't need to redo, recite that line. Anyway, so last year we made a few predictions. Each of us, uh, I think, did three predictions to try to forecast what would happen this year. And this year now we are going to see how accurate we, in fact, were. So, Ben, you've recorded our predictions, I sliced have. and diced them, got them into little snippets, Little nuggets, if you will. And you're going to play those. And we're going to vote them up or down to see how well we did. So, um, first up, I think we were going to get to Colin. Mr. Bird, he's going to spread his wings and fly like the eagle. So, Ben, what was Colin's first prediction last year? All right. Let's see what it was. Oh, right now, Chrysler's market share is around 9.4%, and historically, it's always been around, you know, 12 or 13. I think they're going to edge above um, the 9% mark and get back into double digits and at least get above 10%. Oh, wow, I was so right about that, wasn't 
Wait, what is what? Do you guys know the market share? <laughs> we don't follow numbers and percent points. I, I sound right. Yeah, I think you are. You, you said it with authority, so it must be right. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, you guys didn't give me the show notes, so I wasn't able to like research it to see if I was right. Just, <laughs> I, I was right. I'm right. I believe they are past ten percent market share. I'm, I'm trying to pull up the automotive news to see news if it's on here. Mm-hmm. Stephen, what are your thoughts? I, I think that it, they are. Okay, well, fair enough. So good job, Colin. You you've got the facts and a level up. You've earned that. <laughs> the facts and figures to back up. Your prediction. So Yay. The hat I'm not wearing, it's off, off to you. Yes. What is, this is tipping that? mine. <laughs> what was that, Michelle? You're tipping your hat? Yes. What kind of hat is it? It's a chapeau. Yes, it's I wear a chapeau. Fancy. What was Colin's second prediction, Ben? Because he had more than one. It's hard for me to remember. Let me think back. Hmm. This is like a Golden Girls I flashback. I predict that the Nissan Leaf will the Chevy Volt in the United States. Ooh. Right. I'm so right, again. Wow. Colin, the Oracle of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Did wow. I choose safe bets, or was that really, were these uncertain last year? I don't know. Weren't they neck and neck last year? No, they didn't exist last year, I thought. How did we vote that last year, Craig? I don't recall. Oh, let me, actually, I do remember, funny, because I'm looking. Nissan Leaf will outsell Chevrolet Volt globally. That was a negative. We said boo. So we all said Boo. And the naysayer, Mr. Bird, was correct. So good job, Mr. Bird. We lose. And he gets another level up. Unbelievable. He's leading. He's leading. But nobody else has gone yet. It's still anyone's I'm game the best. except mine. That's a good He's point. a leader bird. <laughs> For the visually impaired. Right. Okay. So what was his third and final prediction, Ben? So uh, I predict that Toyota will surge back to be the second place automaker. I'm not saying who they're displacing. But I believe that they'll be in second place at the end of the year in the United States. Whoops. Yikes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I think the bird, the bird got a little cocky there. <laughs> Cock of the walk. <laughs> that is the air coming out of his. Pardon me. <laughs> the bird. So, you can't win them all, Colin, but you got two out of three right. Okay. How you feeling, girl? I, I feel like that that might be good enough to win. I think, you might, <laughs> I think you're right. I might have to sell some 911s to, to win this one. <laughs> All right, We're confusing then. our games again. I, no, well, damn it. he does that. You know, he's been he's been putting his shoes in the freezer. Yes, I know. Early onset. It's that old man's jacket I was wearing. It's just sort of... He's been wrapping up his alarm clock like a baby, walking around the house. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, the celery's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest crying noise. I've never heard it. Sounds like breaking bones. <laughs> anyway, Eric, you had a few predictions too. Uh, yes, I did. Do you remember what any of them were? If I you don't, it's okay. I do. All, All right. right. Well, let me think back. Ben will refresh our memories. Uh, Bird thing went out now. Uh, Hyundai will surpass Honda in sales for the U.S. Mm, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> no. That's absolutely out. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, Honda has per. Well, Hyundai Kia. Wait, are you talking now? No, or, no. Is this now or is this still the recording? No, this is this is now. Is, we're, we are now in now. We are now in today. Yeah. We're, we're at now. Okay. Today no, it's the ghost wrong. of Christmas present. Today now. You're so wrong. December twenty third, two thousand one. them. I looked. I actually saw that res- earlier. Um, it's still. It's still less. Wait a minute. Maybe oh. Hyundai. I don't know. No, Hyundai definitely isn't surpassed Honda. I think it's Hyundai Kia combined of past Honda. Hey, you can't. You're editing your. This is not revisionist history. <laughs> you said Hyundai. That's the. <laughs> do, can, do, we, do. can we pronounce it correctly? Hyundai. For a minute? Exactly. Hyundai. Hyundai. <laughs> <laughs> is it like? Yeah, it. And, and it's Audi. Yeah. Audi. 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 And, Hun- and it's it's EcoBoost, not EcoBoost. Oh, I hate EcoBoost. Oh. That pisses me off genuinely. Even when Derek Kuzak says it. We've got a new Did you see the new Fusion? Echo Boost engines. The Fusion? <laughs> anyway, so that was a negative, Eric. I'm sorry. We voted it down as well. Ben. <laughs> His next pick was even more radical. He Whoa. is bat bleep crazy on this one. <laughs> 12 months Toyota ago. Toyota will buy Tesla and Lotus. <laughs> 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 12 months ago 12 months ago that wasn't a bad thing because 
Toyota was going to Tesla for all this battery stuff, and they were doing something with Lotus, too, and I can't remember what, but... Oh, they were selling them engines and transmissions. Mr. Bragman in the back will be on our next show is looking very, um... I'm not sure. Is incredulous the word? (laughs) 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 Yeah, yeah, Well, Lotus, well, because they can't... Well, I was the suspension tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Aaron's meeting the man that wrote the question for Bob Lutz last week on Open Line for the first time, <laughs> face to face. <laughs> so we voted that one down, Ben, and sounds like it went down. Yeah. And the third one was even chance. better. There's still a chance for redemption. Though, no, there's right? not. <laughs> well, with that attitude, I'm beyond re- I'm beyond redemption at this point. Oh yikes! Well, let's see how bad this really is. By the end of 2011. Okay. The U.S. government will have zero ownership stake in General Motors. (laughs) (laughs) Got that one? (laughs) (laughs) Wrong. (laughs) Wrong. It's like the McLaughlin group. (laughs) Except you weren't spitting as you said it. (laughs) 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 And we voted that one down as well, Eric. So three strikes, you're out. But better luck next time. Or next year. Or next week. You could say that. Next week. I like the sound of next week. Are we doing predictions next week? We, we are. are. We are. How'd you we guess? Are. We are. We are. Now, Jeff Ross was here last year. Yeah, he couldn't be here this year because he's... He's hoeing us out. Yeah. Basically. What a bummer. Yeah. Hoeing us out. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have to pay for his crimes. Let's hear what... What was, what, what was his first prediction? We're going to spread these out like a thin layer of okay. Miracle Whip. On a Dribble them out. So, so here's, <laughs> here's the first prediction from Jeff. Don't use that word. <laughs> miracle Whip? Everyone, let's reflect back. Um, my first one, I think the new Grand Cherokee will outsell the Ford Explorer. Is, is that the prediction burning up when it's done? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I noticed it on mine, too. What is that noise? It's like a door closing. It, it's the, sw- <laughs> the swoosh in your mind that comes back to reality. You're coming back through the wardrobe. The pain <laughs> yes. burns its way into your soul. So, oh, okay. he's, he's slightly wrong, isn't he? I think the Explorer narrowly edged out the... Yeah, it's like by 8,000, I think. Mm. And this was the one I wanted to be right on. Oh. And I, after looking at the numbers, through November, the Grand Cherokee's only down... 11,434 units. So come on, people. Go buy a Jeep. Help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> so much for being an independent automotive, you know, yeah. journalist. He's, he's pushing some products. He's competitive. Yeah. So, well, that is round one of three rounds of predictions we're getting to here tonight. But we, we will take a moment now to thank our sponsors. But don't you go anywhere because we'll be back with even more predictions. We've got to hear what Mr. Ewing had to say. He will be next on the chopping block to be wrong. Ooh. So <clears throat> and wrong I will be. <laughs> so we've got to thank our friends at Amazon.com. Everyone loves Amazon. Mr. Bragman loves it, I know for a fact. He buys all kinds of stuff on there. <laughs> we wouldn't believe what he buys on there. He even said it himself. So we're asking you the next time you go to purchase something from Amazon, because let's think about it. They've got everything on there. I mean, you can buy shoes, alarm clocks, food, those coffee cups that Michelle, you get all the time for the curry machine, whatever those it's aren't, called. Those aren't food. Curry. Food stuffs. Food stuffs. St- they replace food. <laughs> yes. Food substitute. Simulated imitation them. food. Pods. So we're asking you the next time you go to purchase something from Amazon that you visit our website first, roundaboutshow.com. On our website, you will see a banner ad for Amazon. It'll, there's one at the top of the page, one in the right-hand sidebar. You click on either one of those, it takes you to Amazon. Anything you purchase after following the link, we will get credit for. It helps us out. Very easy promotion. There is no, um, there's no code to enter or anything at yep. checkout like that. You just buy your stuff as you normally would, and you're helping us out. Price and stays the same. You know, you look on Amazon, go, that's a great price. Mm-hmm. Decide you're going to buy it. But before you do, please go to roundaboutshow.com, click that banner, and, and the magic just happens. It, you if get you've the got same great Prime, deal. Too. And, and if you, well, that's a bonus. Mm-hmm. If you've got Amazon Prime, free shipping, free two day shipping, might I add, wow. on, mo- on, you know, most items. I'm and, bored. And then everyone, if you uh, pay more than 25 you get free, like, standard shipping. So that's pretty so good. So you get it in six weeks. Yeah, something like that. Standard. Well, it, if you're like me and you shop for all your holiday gifts after the holidays because that's when they're cheaper, <laughs> you'll still be doing roundabout a service. Exactly. exactly. We, it's just help us out, please. 
We appreciate it. We, we appreciate your patronage. We just we hope you, we can encourage you to use Amazon because they're good friends of the show. And to help you, to help just, just expose some of the products that Amazon sells. Some help of the us help you, people. And the breadth of the products. We like to highlight one of the items that they sell. And this week we've selected doozy. Eric is just appalled. <laughs> Why don't not, you tell not, us what it is, Eric? Not, not just for the pick, but for the picture with the placement of the mm-hmm. pick. What the? <laughs> That's mainly why I chose it, Eric. What are these? They are Bravo Sierra fender vent slash portholes. So sticky back plastic you can fix in yes. the car. And apparently someone decided to stick them over the rear wheel of their <laughs> what appears to be either Saab 900 or BMW 3 Series. Could I put these on the Z3? <laughs> you could, Michelle. I recommend that you don't. And at only will it, seven dollars, make it go faster. Aaron no, Bregman but a spoiler will. Said a tenth in the quarter. Plus, at seven dollars seventy-seven cents, you can't go wrong. Get two, one for six for each side. Then. Is that a and, and people, there's only fourteen left in no. stock, so order soon. Well, at least I, I get could the put brand right. like a row of six down each side of the car. You mean? <laughs> yes, <Michelle>. exactly. <laughs> It'd be like the Lusitania. A little maybe you could maybe window. you could put LEDs in there. At least get some entertainment factor out of it. I'd be like the wind. <laughs> the wind or the, the wind? wind? Honey, it would look good in your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that Santa Cruz wind or whatever you guys get? Santa Ana? Santa Silence. Ana. Santa Ana. <laughs> Dead yeah, silence. We're having the Santa Anas right now. So Amazon.com. Again, visit our website, roundaboutshow.com. Click on the banner ad. Go to Amazon. Buy your stuff. We do appreciate it. And we, we promise they really do have some good stuff. <laughs> I just can't find any of it. Yeah. <laughs> Craig's just really bad at searching. You, you should... know what you can, uh, you can also buy there that I like? Hmm. Yes. The Ostrom. Uh, it's actually ostrich jerky. Oh, my. That sounds terrible. Good it's lord. Really good. You're offending Colin. Stop saying these things. <laughs> <laughs> That's his cousin. <laughs> Oster, Oster are, are, have you actually had one before? They're pretty tough. No. Really? Pretty, they're tough? Yeah. yeah they got, <laughs> I mean, they're, it's like a hard shell to crack. Oh. Uh, yeah. They're and they're pretty have... ornery, too, when they're alive. So. <laughs> you can kind of understand in that case. Yeah, pretty healthy. <laughs> Why are we having this conversation? Let's move on. All right, Predictions I, number two. Yeah, it's time to <laughs> our way back to the regular show. Take us, Ben. Okay. Steven was so, first on the list. We're gonna we're gonna flash back way back to twenty ten when Steven predicted this. Can you remember? Hmm. Oh, I'm starting to remember. I believe that the Ram brand of Chrysler, the 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 Ram truck itself is going to go back to wearing a Dodge badge. Mm. Because mm. Do. I don't think the Ram <laughs> brand is going to survive, but I think the product will carry on as a dog. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> cow, like, like, is that a mm. cow in the background? <laughs> I thought he was doing something a little more nefarious. <laughs> um, How you feeling, what girl? They, what did we say on that one? What did we, the people, what did, who we, agreed? We voted that one up. Really? Yes. Wow. Oh, we agreed with that, huh? I'm sure I disagreed, though. Yes, <laughs> of course. So how, how, how did... How, Steve, why don't you tell us? Were, were you right or not? <laughs> I, was, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, level down. All right, that's one of your predictions. Still two chances to win. You can take home gold. You can tie with Mr. Bird. Isn't, yeah. it the, isn't the craziest thing, though, now they're going to take the Viper away from Dodge, too? It's like, come on. That's, Nonsense. Whatever. SRT Another new Viper. Brand. Yeah, SRT Viper. All right. All right. Number two. Boop. All right. Now, I have to be clear about this because it, it can cause some confusion. And this is my kind of my big going on a limb one. I think that Suzuki cars will no longer exist in North America. I don't think the Suzuki Auto division will be around. Suzuki will continue to sell motorcycles, hmm. and Suzuki will continue to sell cars in other markets like Japan, but I don't think that they're a strong enough brand in North America that they're going to stick around. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> I win. Scary. Steven, um... You might as well have been right, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you sold, what, 30,000 cars? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm trying to look that up right now. That's my prediction for next year. The Suzuki should uh, do a joint venture with Mitsubishi, get, get together. <laughs> that would Build probably cars be cars in best. normal Illinois. Two, two failures is better than one. 
<laughs> so I we, mean, yeah, it's it's like Suzuki doesn't exist. <laughs> but do I mean, they? where's the closest Suzuki dealer? Anyone? Ypsilanti. Uh, no, it's glo- it's gone. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah. Well, we voted that one down. Well, good. I think my, I voted. My right third right. one is the one I'm really proud of. <laughs> <laughs> then here we go. This one, honestly, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be really shocked. But I think that the Acura ZDX weird crossover thing will be discontinued. <laughs> Let me answer that by saying that I have a ZDX on schedule for the first week of February that I'm driving to the Chicago Auto Show. Does that mean you were right? No. Okay. Sorry, two for two. Three for three, pardon me. Yes. Can I, you guys want to buy a 911? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you marking them up 50%? Why aren't I selling any? Oh, I you were pretty this. adamant about this last year. We didn't think it was going to happen, but you were pretty insistent. I, y'all are idiots. That's all I have <laughs> to say. You go see. You go see this time next year. There ain't going to be it. no ZDX. <laughs> <laughs> Get in a hood. You don't see. <laughs> I know he ain't my baby daddy. Theater <laughs> over here. Just... Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> um, next on Maury. All right, we got we got a pick from Jeff. Now we're flavoring our show. A little dash of Jeff Ross. What's ah, his second little dash of Jeff. Here we go. Here's the next one. This one was a risky one. I think Toyota is going to try and come back from. Losing the EV race to Nissan, Ford, Chevy, and everybody else for that matter. They will have two EVs by the end of 2011 for pure, sale. Pure electric, not plug in hybrid. Pure electric. Pure electric. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, about those. Like, it sounds like a book cart like going really fast through the library. <laughs> Colin is so <laughs> fixated on the side. <laughs> I really I can't. I'm like trying to follow it. I'm like, he hasn't been paying attention for 10 minutes. It's just, what's that sound? <laughs> so what, what did Jeff have to say? In Gurney in a hospital. Oh, again, Toyota didn't have two EVs this year, but they're pretty darn close. Um, I believe they have quite a few in the works with their Tesla partnership, so um, <laughs> I'm assuming this might carry over for the 2012 calendar year. <laughs> So as soon as they buy Tesla. So basically, well, I guess what, what do they have? They have the, R, uh, the RAV4, RAV4 and the, yeah. uh, the IQ. Isn't that um, yeah. some sort of – I don't know if it's coming to America, though. America. 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 We voted that one down. The, uh, enough, yeah, so. the Scion IQ EV is coming here, but it's going to be um, fleet only. Uh, Sorry, Jeff. Last I heard. It's going to be $60,000. And on that note – we need to take another break. Oh, thank God. Time for another ad already. I know. Can you believe it, Ben? <laughs> a I'm shorter excited. show means less for you to edit. That's right. Look on the bright side. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, coming up after the break, we will get to my truly awful predictions. But uh, I'd like to take a moment to talk about Advance Auto Parts. Our good friends over there at Advance are, ha- are offering a wonderful deal. If you go to our website, roundaboutshow.com, click on the advanced banner in the right-hand sidebar of the page. Mm -hmm. It's your ticket to major savings. If you order $30 worth of merchandise from their site. Colin, that's quite a bit of typing. Oh. (laughs) Just typing right away there. Just (coughs) soft fingers. Soft fingers. I'm doing it real slow now. There we go. Mark it. And what were you saying, Craig? If you order $30 worth of merchandise from Advance, you can save 10 bucks on that order. If you hit $50, you can take 20 right off the top of your bill. If you hit 100 Stephen, Stephen, you ready for this? 30 bucks. Save $30. It's a 30% savings. Oh, no, you can't go any higher You're gonna than hyperventilate that. hyperventilate there, man. You need a paper bag to breathe in. <laughs> so, yes, again, it's very important you go to our website first, roundaboutshow.com, and you follow the banner ad. You will see on our website a promo code. You enter that. When you check out, when you when you go to check out off of uh, Advance, and that is your ticket to savings. You'll see the money deducted right from the, ch- the basket. You'll see it. Boom. Takes it right out. Major saving. Again, that's 10 off 30, 20 off 50, or 30 off 100. Great deal. I've taken advantage of it. Ben's dad has taken advantage of it. Eric, you should have taken advantage of it. If you haven't already, you should get on it. I have. 
See? He has yes. gentlemen. Sure. Yeah. So if you if your order hits seventy five dollars, you qualify for free shipping to your door. They will deliver it to your door absolutely free of charge. Of course you can always arrange to have it uh, you can pick it up in the store for free as well. So if your order does not quite hit seventy five bucks, there's an advance near you. Just drive in there, pick it up yourself for free. So Advance Auto Parts, we thank them for their support of Roundabout Show. <laughs> Ready in advance. <laughs> you know what's a really random uh, thing about Advance Auto Parts? They're like literally across the street from my house. Do you order parts I, from them? They're 600 feet away from me. It's crazy. I, I went I went in there. I get, went to go get a screwdriver once. It's about a... I, I mean, there's they don't even have a parking lot because I live in like sort of a dense area. So it kind of doesn't make any sense. I don't... Um, that's all I'll say for since you get since earlier sponsor, but okay. That's quite the praise. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that's like I realized halfway through. Did right. you did you at least order that screwdriver from roundaboutshow.com? But it's right there, Craig. You can it's, still pick right it up there. in the store for free. <laughs> or have it delivered. I'll do that next time. All right, you do that. All right, Ben. I think you know what to do. It's time for you. What was my first <laughs> Prediction? <laughs> this will be good. Ford will have some sort of big scandal. Something <laughs> salacious will come out. Bill Ford with hookers and blow or something. Or, or some sort of <laughs> safety cover-up. Like, like a blue dress scandal? Potentially, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys see what happened oh, with my Ford tire. Excuse me, cart's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're actually kind of right, right? Ford fell off a cliff this year in terms of perception. I don't know if it's a scandal. It's not a scandal. scandal. It's a scandal, Steven. It's not they a scandal. They lost their punch bowl. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> their ability went down, like, what, 20 ranks or something? They're, well, know, that's they just because run. people can't deal with technology. It's well, not also at the, the DCT, yeah. they, they say that's uh, yeah. kind of... Well, I guess that's still a reliability perception thing. It's not really a reliability. Ben, this is a scandal, is it not? It's a scandal. Is it a salacious scandal? I think it is. <laughs> you <laughs> actually, in that prediction, described the nature of the scandal. That is one potential. Yes. Well, potential. I, I don't think An I would example. put... Nope. <clears throat> no, I, I'll side with Craig, but business. wait, did you, you say the word salacious, So I, didn't, I, I must have missed Quality. that. Quality. Is a handshake with the customer. Is it, if you said you're the words, I don't want to back you. And Ford broke that promise. <laughs> they don't deserve to be reelected for another term. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you running for? <laughs> 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 All right, what, what's the consensus of the group? Well, that was voted down last year. And uh, no. Do we vote it down again? Yep. Yeah. I back him. Yeah. I, <laughs> Brett, I, back him. I oh, think I I last year I backed him on every prediction he made, too, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like going down with a sinking ship. <laughs> All right. All right. Buzz that sh- <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bowman flavoring the stock here. All right, Ben, my second prediction. Green pad's going to start fading this year just like it did last year. <laughs> um, like, like it should have last year. Start <laughs> fading this year just like it did last year. <laughs> can, I, can I just edit that sentence for you real quick? <laughs> Did Excuse the, me. Did the green fad I think, start fading I think my this year like it did last itself. year? I think it's been pretty flat for sales. I don't know. What Is that fading, though? You just said flat. Yeah. <clears throat> fading like all, with... All the new cars, you know, they, they're always more fuel efficient than the last. I don't know. It's, right. I mean, the, it's really the, subjective. It was, the, it was the EcoBoost F-150, not just the F-150 that won Truck of the Year, right? Yeah. GM's oh. got all the e-assist stuff now. And there's like, yeah, there's the... You know, all these new EVs, like the Chevy Spark EV and the, the Focus EV. and 650 horsepower Shelby GT500. Thank you, Stephen. Kills them all. <laughs> <laughs> None of them exist. No Prius. V is for van. V is for van. Or other things. But for every Prius V, there will be a Camaro ZL1 yes. and a GT500. And a Cadillac CTS V wagon. But in greater and With greater manual? quantities? Yes. That's that would denote fading. No. So are we flat or are we fading? What is the consensus, Eric? Up or down? Down. Steven. Up. Ooh, ben. You don't have Ben. A vote. I don't get a vote. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I if, actually. I'm not saying down with you, Steven. I still love you. I'm. I'm looking at the bigger picture of if you uh, if you attribute green. To things like 
you know, replacing naturally aspirated engines with turbocharged direct injection, using lightweight materials to reduce the mass of cars, things like that. If you lump all those into green, which I kind of, in a way, do a little bit. That's why I'm saying up. So is that up or down, Michelle? He's kind of, yeah, I see what he's saying. You make me such a flip-flopper. Oh, honey, I like it when you flip-flop. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the John Kerry style. <laughs> that's, that's no one's that style. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> well, Colin, do you have a vote? Wait, so is up um, a green with you or yes. is down a green? Okay. Um, um, see, it's tough because you're right. It's like the the Volt and the Leafs didn't do as well. And, and it seems like even though the midsize sedans, like the Camry, you know, is 25, 35, and they touted it, it's not really – wasn't their focal point. I don't know. I, don't, um, I will say that it's less than it was in 2010. So I guess that technically is the word fading. So, um, yes. Yes! So I think we're, we're split. What, has Michelle voted? I don't think she has She's flip-flapped. Oh, yeah, you were going to agree with Steve. I mean, yeah, because I have a hard time with it because I think that it is – that green is really uh, – I think that consumers actually think of it more as a how they save money on fuel and daily expenses rather than an environmental issue. So we have a tie. Crap. we got to throw it to Bragman. <laughs> Aaron Bragman. He's giving it a thumbs up. Oh. He's, he's, uh, yeah. He wants a 300 a SRT8, so. Ooh. This is an upset, Ben. Give me that level up. You're getting the level up. You deserved it. You fought for it. All right. That's a victory. Third okay. and final for Craig Cole. Here we Craig's go. Craig's doing his village people dance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Craig MCA. Last Ta-da. prediction. <laughs> ben will stab me sometime this year for making one too many Hungry Man references. You are correct, sir. <laughs> I'm going to have to agree. You didn't vote all Did the you way. stab him? Wishful thinking, Ben. You're jumping the gun. I'm. I'm letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, in fact, stab Craig Cole. Great! He made Level it another up. year. <laughs> are we Are we talking about dreams or reality? <laughs> <laughs> You're on live TV, Ben. Just boy, boy that's a good point. Yo, wouldn't that be exciting? Oh. The ratings. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm on live it. podcast TV, you I stab Craig Cole. Points. Get him. <laughs> but you know what? I'd ruin this brand new carpet we have here at the Autoline Studios, and I don't think John would be too happy. <laughs> it's outside. black. You'll never see the blood stains. <laughs> as Everyone, I out. Everyone's so excited to, for me to stab Craig Cole. You can go Do outside. <laughs> we have a dra- they just put a new drain in the back. <laughs> exactly. No one will ever know. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I have to give you a level up. Oh, wait. No. It's no. a level up. Go ahead no, and give, it's me, a level give me that level wait, up. Wait, what was your prediction? Give me that level that he, up. Then. That you would do it. That I would do it. No, it's about Hungry Man. Level up. <laughs> you don't get anything. You just get Zach Bowman. Buzz that shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Fine. Who's going who's gonna to wrap us up? Mr. Ross. Mr. Ross. Our final prediction from Mr. Ross. <laughs> I think Rayla Hood and Nitza will fail at getting texting while driving banned. <laughs> oh, man. Well. <laughs> yeah, they failed all right. That's that's fun. Pretty much. He was right. Right? I mean, is yeah. there any debate? No. 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 Well, yeah. they just tried again, didn't they? <laughs> They'll get it eventually until you can't even drive. You're not allowed to what? drive while driving. And then... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what, what autonomous cars are. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's an interesting tidbit. Uh, Ray LaHood, he was uh, he was over in my neighborhood, like basically across the street from one of my friends' house, giving some speech at the Blue Line station about a $20 million grant he gave us. It's like, you know, tiddlywinks, but whatever. <laughs> I'd take $20 million. I, I want $20 million. You could open the auto birdarium. <laughs> the auto rail. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> Auto light rail, there's just cars that oh, ride right. on track. The bird rail, there we go. <laughs> the bird. What's, what's a fast bird? What's like the fastest bird? A Hayabusa. Yeah, the Hayabusa uh, rail. Hayabusa rail. <laughs> Colin I think Hayabusa. Falcon might, you know, might sound suffice. But. Yeah. So Jeffrey Ross? <clears throat> I I think, this is well, well, let's hear what he rebuts, because this, this could be interesting. 
All right, so I admit that Ray LaHood and the NHTSA did not ban texting this year, but you, you got to admit they should have. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But didn't he predict that they would fail? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but th- and this is the man that texted me as he walked down the aisle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Mary Amanda. <laughs> so I think wow. he just he remembered his prediction wrong. Um, he disremembulated it in the past when he He's called. He's aged in. a lot, you know. Yeah, I know. He's poor, got those twins. They're, poor old they're Jeff. a handful. He's twins. 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 What were their names? Jessica and Bertha Jamie. Bertha and Beulah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't know they were born in the 1890s. <laughs> <laughs> They're in Jacksonville. <laughs> there was nothing funny about the Dust Bowl. So I think that's a show, guys. Good predictions last year. Great predictions, me. Um, <laughs> yeah, except I think Colin ended up with I the most Colin correct won. ones. I won. Colin is the winner, Ben. What does he get? Uh, I just closed the roundabout level up sound. So... <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that is a show, folks. Finished in record time, no less. What's good? I got better things. Because Christmas to... is in two days. Well, I got better things to do here on St. John than to sit on Skype and talk to you guys. I know. We, I'm surprised you got such quick, quick broadband, Eric. Well, the broadband is good. It's just the the uh, calling is a pain in the butt. I'm impressed by the hologram, frankly. It's like you're right here. Oh. I heard the, the drinks were weak, too. No, they've been pretty good. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough. Colin Bird from Cars.com. Yo. What's going on in your world? Any comparison tests, video reviews? What, what's happening in the, in the Cars.com? You know, we're uh, revving up for the auto show, and um, we, we did the, actually this recent series, Naughty or Nice, was, you know, leading up for Christmas. Um, this, comes out, this comes out after Christmas, though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we record. Uh, we are recording this. We're oh. recording this after Christmas. I mean, so. this actually comes out on Christmas. It's a, it's <laughs> a gift, oh. really. Oh. Today is Christmas. Um. That is, maybe. No, it's the twenty third. <laughs> Today's the twenty third. Yes, and and come tomorrow out in two days we'll release it. So yeah, until we have our Detroit coverage, I'll just point to um, uh, an older article I wrote probably like three weeks ago about. Um, we've had the Nissan Leaf, you know, I have it parked outside right now for almost a year now. And so I wrote a, just another, uh, post about going into the winter and how predictive range, uh, after a TCU update we did, uh, mm-hmm. with Nissan and just general through the summer, um, that the predictive range is a little bit better than it was before. So you're doing writing now. They let you write. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes, his, sometimes he shows up in the syndicated content on Yahoo.com. And he was on right? USA Today, wasn't he? Or yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. He is, he's a freaking celebrity here. If you go, yeah, if you go to uh, USA Today, drive on, like uh, a lot of the stuff, uh, a lot of my stuff gets repurposed there. So That's awesome, huh. Colin. Did Thank you. You. Get, you get some back end on that? Uh, no. <laughs> His I, I mother teach. is very proud. Yeah, my mother is very proud. <laughs> well, Colin Bird, thank you as always thank for you. joining us. Eric Tritko. Yes. Where are you from and stuff? Uh, I'm I'm getting ready to head back out to to the the beach. The beach and the pubs. The cabana. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but usually you can find me on the interwebs at rumblestrip.net. Or if you're in among the auto dealers group out there, you can look me up at IMAX Web, and we're glad to help you out. Very Fifty, nice. always a pleasure. Michelle Did Naranjo. Have... Wait, help you out? Like you're gonna take out their trash, or you're gonna? No, I'll help them with their social media presence. Ah, oh, very cool. I want <laughs> presents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that kind. Like, Sorry. <laughs> do do do. That was funny, Stephen. You can laugh at it. It was a word I, joke. I, I don't have the ability to They're laugh. They're called puns. Ben made a funny. <laughs> <laughs> droopy. Let's hear some droopy dog, man. Oh, boy, I made a pun. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Michelle Naranjo. Yes, sir. Auto by tell. Yes. What's going on to it? So, um, as I mentioned last week, we have our Car of the Year coming out. Um, our, it'll be premiered on our homepage Uh at midnight on California time, January 30, uh, sorry, December 31st. Um, and then I, oh, you can go to uh, bitly.com, or sorry, bit.ly forward slash open podcast and get 
our um, December show with Bob Lutz. Um, Aaron Bragman, who will be on next week, mm. is on, and Chelsea Sexton, as usual, and we interviewed Bob Lutz. Bob you- Lutz, I've heard of him. Yes, he he's a Sadly. quite well-known chap. I think I got to ask a question on that. You, you did! did. <laughs> and he said, wrong! <laughs> <laughs> so, Michelle, thanks for joining us. This, Thank you, this Craigie. Friday before Christmas. I know how busy things are. How's Ben going to get the show done before? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to skip Christmas. No Christmas this year for Ben. Yeah, that's sad. I'll have Travis at it that's while sad. he's driving. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And last but not least, Stephen J. Ewing, autoblog.com. Hi, Craig. How you doing, Steve? I'm, I'm doing well, thanks. We're closing in on his final episode. I this know, next week. Next week? Next last week. As show. A reg- as not a regular. final. This yeah. isn't the final solution. He is coming back Whoa. just less frequently. The final solution. <laughs> Significantly <laughs> less frequently. Final <laughs> countdown. Um, <clears throat> yes, you, are, you have, it just things are out of control, busy. And things I, are crazy. It's, it's, it, with auto show season knocking yeah, on the door. I mean, right around the corner. Flying out to see me every other weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got, I, I'm trying to keep this long distance relationship with Michelle. Up, you know, going. Well, if you had the one Series M, it'd be a lot easier. It'd be, a, yeah. Hint, hint. Yeah. <laughs> it would. This life is too much to take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steven, you're a good man. You're a strong fighting soldier. We appreciate your presence on the program. Welcome back anytime. Okay. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Don't cry. Don't cry. We're not saying goodbye. We're just saying, see you next you're time. You're just saying, <laughs> get the hell out. Yeah. All right. Remember, you can watch Roundabout Live every Friday evening, starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 3.30 on the West Coast. Don't forget to check out the rest of the AutoLine family of fine programs, including AutoLine This Week, AutoLine After Hours, and, of course, AutoLine Daily. And if you want your question or comment addressed, you can always call the ROAB hotline. The number to dial is 1-559-ROAB-411. That's 1-559-762-2411. Do you need me to say that again? Do you need to get a piece of paper to write that yes, down? Yes, I, I want to dial it on my BlackBerry. Okay, it's 1559. What is that in BlackBerry dial? 1559-762-2411. I've got it. Good. And don't forget we're on Twitter and Facebook. It's twitter.com slash roundaboutshow, facebook.com slash roundaboutshow. Pretty easy to find. Just give us a search. You'll, you'll, you'll see. Use the Googles. If you never want to miss an action-packed episode, you can subscribe on iTunes or the Windows 7 Zune Tunes Marketplace. <laughs> Did you just say if you ever want to miss an action If you never want to miss an action film. Oh, never. Okay. Ever. Who would, Michelle, who would miss this? I know. That's what I was thinking. Why would you say that? Put your hand down, Stephen. Put your hand down. <laughs> Anyway, Xbox 360, you want one of those, Eric? Yeah. Yeah. I play four as a four. Yeah. So anyway, thanks to all of you out there listening. Please join us again next week. Special guest will be Aaron Bragman. Don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you then. Make it so emotional, baby. <laughs> what? That was a chat. Mr. Ross. Rossing him. All right, good show, guys. One life to go. I forgot to tell you, Ben, I didn't realize it until this morning that my Miss Motormouth emails weren't coming into my BlackBerry for, like, the last three days. Oh, really? So you guys were sending all these show notes and everything. I didn't see. Oh, jeez. I, I didn't, because I was also getting Daisy Avenue and Miss Motormouth at Gmail, and I was like, I just thought I'd gotten all my emails. <laughs> Where's the iPhone? I don't have an iPhone. One more show. All oh, right. Can you, uh... Can you CC me on the rundown? Because I wasn't included oh, the first time. Can you do that, Craig? Craig sent it out. Please, thanks. I'm trying to remember what the hell my third. I've already cool. picked my three. I had three. And if any of you and I can't this, remember so what the third one was. <laughs> going down. Hey, boys. Hi, Bragman. How you doing? Hey, um, so I'm, I'm checking out. <laughs> thanks, Kyle. Is Hi, he Kyle. going? He's not joining us again. Next time in Chicago, we'll get drunk. Okay. Bye, Colin. Bye, Colin. Thanks again. See you, Colin. Steven, I'll give you my, uh, I'll I'll, I'll Facebook you my number so you can do that. Excellent. Thank you. (laughs) All right, bye, guys. Bye. I think that's it. That's it. Pull it up now, it won't lead back. I don't know if it'll go any further. That's the one. It's counterintuitive. A little bit, yeah. It goes the opposite. I see Ben's bottom.
<laughs> I like the, the tanning baby. What? I remember so my you, first you put you put your chin oh, here yeah. and you just, yeah. you just this how it works. Me. Okay. <laughs> you know how to use the mic, work the mic. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like a helmet looking over that trench. <laughs> so these are the screwy cans. Yeah, Jim Hall was. What are you saying? Laughing about them. <laughs> yeah, these are the screwy cans that everybody bought thinking they were Diet Coke, and and they're not. How are you? I didn't see you. Right see you. in front of my face. It's all right. What can I say? How you doing, girl? All right. How you doing? You doing okay? How you doing? How you doing? Do you know? Do you know, right. you know what I mean, Mike? Do you know what I mean, Mike? Hi, Michelle. Hi, sweetheart. How are you, hon? Doing well. Good. It's kind of weird. Like a disembodied voice in front of me. It's kind of. I know. It's weird. She's freaking. everywhere. I know, right? Jesus. I know. Jesus. We can join the tiny chat and see me. I don't have a computer. Is there? Aaron, just go sit here. I don't have here. a hey ben, computer. Is there a way to go back to see previous versions of a Google Doc? No. Has GTI? No. A good, I guess. I brought the other. Because I can't remember. Because I put my three on there, and then Craig's. Then I saw Craig's email about getting rid of them, so I deleted it. Now I can't remember what my third prediction is. Light snow. Light snow. Okay. What's when? Where? Tonight? Tomorrow? Um, let me no lies. Lies, 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 lies. I speak the truth. Hold on. Maybe He's making predictions code. right now. Still. <laughs> <What about my? laughs> Meteorology is not my strength. Son of a but, bitch. Uh, what time Ooh. did you delete the Merrick? No. Man, Before five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah, I've out. got two all-wheel drive vehicles right now. Well, what are you complaining about? It's a good thing. Oh, by the way, just, just in case. Fuck you. <laughs> Number three, you need to run China's auto sales. Oh, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. It does save? Yeah, had some versions. We are Monday. Oh, just go to no. file, see revision. I've got an F 150 Ego cool. Boost at home. Ego <laughs> Boost. It's a nice truck. It's a it awesome, is a nice truck. lovely truck. Had it. Had Only it. Americans can create a 5,000 pound anything and call it Eco. Mm -hmm. You know? And 50 grand. It got 21 and change. Uh, going to Indiana and yeah. when I had it. So. Oh, I love it. It's, for it's, four, I think it's the best power train. Drive truck? Yep. Shit. I think it's the best power train in that thing. Oh, People yeah. were like skeptical. I don't understand. Mm. Because, well, think about it. V6, and tur yeah. V6 turbo in a full size truck. Because that ain't my V8. That's a turbo six, and that ain't going to be good enough for my pickup truck. And that's exactly what everybody was thinking. And that what you you they got proved wrong. My cousin Mitsubishi's got a turbo six in it, and, and that actually, ain't going to work. And I've actually been surprised because I've seen a lot of people with them, and they're more. Blue collar kind of people. Oh yeah. Like, oh, I love this. I mean, thing. apparently, as long as it, as long as it can do what they want, what it, to do. want it to do, yeah. they don't care this what's is under crap. there. This is bullshit crap. Oh dear. No, oh, I refuse to let it language. snow. It's just a little.